Hey everybody, welcome back to the O20 series. What are we at? We're at episode 17. This is kind of a cleanup episode. We've just gone through and we've made a really cool model. And you're probably thinking to yourself, man, I'd really like to use that model again as opposed to starting from scratch and spending hours of my life putting this back together again. So how do you clone this model or duplicate it, copy it? We're going to go through that and we're going to go through a lot of other neat things as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to either go to, let me show you, if you hit the model button right there or the airplane icon, go to model select and we'll find ourselves in here. Now, if we are at the main screen here, you have to be at the home screen to make this work. What you can do is long press on this and it takes you to the same place. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take the, the Grand Tundra model and I'm going to click on it once and then I'm going to click on it again and I'm going to say clone. And it says that clone was successful. And as you can see, we have two Grand Tundra models right now. So this time I'm going to select inside Switch of it. warning. And if you want to get back to the home screen, you can go right there. I'm going to go to the model. I'm going to go to edit model. And I want to make this plane a piper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call P I P E R. And I will go down here. It's a oh, oh piper. There's one right there. And what do we have? We have now an airplane that is set up exactly the way we had it set up before, but it's a different name and it has a different image. Now, I am going to take this model, put it on my transmitter, and I'm going to see my buddy Bob tomorrow and I'm going to show him how to do an over the air update. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take this model and once again, I'm going to go into model, long press, and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to say send model. So you select on send model, then I'm going to help Bob uh, turn on the Bluetooth on his transmitter and I'm going to find his address and I'm going to select the right one on my transmitter and I'm waiting for Bob to say yes I want to receive it and he receives it and the model gets transferred over and yes this is a model I created inside of the ethos simulator and it will very much be a model we could take out and go flying with so that model is successful what happened on Bob's side what he did was he went in here and he went instead of send model he went into receive model and then what happened was said uh, waiting for you know Bob to receive the model this is the message he comes up he says yes and unfortunately it will fail but anyways it shows in reality what will happen is we'll send and it's magic and it's really cool so about the only other thing I could do with this is I could take this model and I can change folders with it so I'm going to send it over to my demo radio folder and you can see at the very bottom here the piper comes up it's slow in the simulator to populate all these images but the image will pop up eventually so that is it as far as sending and receiving and duplicating models it's a lot of fun you'll enjoy it and you can share models with your friends anyway we are now going to talk about one other topic, which is the OTA update. Uh, that is when we update your receiver. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you go about doing it. So we're going to hit the uh, uh, gear icon and we go to file manager. And I have this folder that you probably don't have on your transmitter it's called firmware and inside of here 
I have a bunch of these really nice folders. Now, what I did was a few months ago, I went in and I downloaded about 40 or 50 different receiver models and I put them all into these nice neat little categories and I did share them. I put them inside of a folder in the files directory inside of a Facebook group. It is the official FR Sky Ethos group. If you're not a member, you really should be a member. You can find that. You look in the files directory and look down for RX, I believe is the name of it. All of these are there. There is only one thing that has changed since I loaded that, and that is under Tandem. This, I believe, is now 1.0.13, but the rest have not changed. So there's going to be a lot of changes coming up very soon with the stabilized receivers, and therefore I'm not updating anything as of right now. I'm going to do it all in one fell swoop and share it with everybody. But let's pretend that you have a TDR-10 and you would like to update the TDR-10 to the latest version of firmware. Let's assume that the TDR-10 is on version 1.0.09 and you wanted to go up to 1.0.12. All you would do is you would select it, find this file, and you can see that it's TDR-10 and it has the name 1.0.12 in there. And you click on this one time only and you say the second one down, flash rx for receiver by internal ota ota means over the air so we're about to do an over the air update and <clears throat> we're going to take this as far as it will go and it's going to say that the we're going to select the receiver in reality what will happen is you'll hear the transmitter start to say bind bind and then what you're supposed to do is plug in your receiver. You're supposed to be, this is a receiver that you have already registered and bound. So you have to be in the right model for the receiver. It has to be registered and bound. You unplug it and you wait for it to say bind. Then you plug in the, the, the receiver so it gets power. And you'll see the name pop up. And then it's going to look at whatever firmware version it's on. Now, for some reason, it's assuming it's an R9MM. We, there's limitations to this simulator software, and this is one of them. What it would say is current version, It would at the very top here, it would say TDR10, current version 1.0.09, which you and so you would just say yes and then what would happen is that it would this instead of saying transfer failed you would see that it would slowly go all the way across take about two or three minutes and then it'll finally say update successful and you hit close and with that we have come to the end of another episode i do thank you for watching if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and thanks for joining us. We'll catch you on the next one.